What's up everybody, this is Danny. Today we're gonna to be looking at the most notable thing about the Oppo N1, and that is the rotatable 13 megapixel camera on this device. Now the big question is, is this the ultimate vlogger camera? Since you're using the exact same 13 megapixel camera sensor, you're not gonna be losing any kind of quality when you are vlogging. So what I'm going to do is test the portrait and landscape orientation video of the Oppo N1 and put it up against one of the most popular mobile devices out there today, the iPhone 5S. Before we get started, the Oppo N1 is a fairly large device, so it's very natural for you to hold it in the portrait orientation. I didn't even think about it twice, and when I first recorded this video, I just recorded it and didn't even think about it. What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm shooting outside as usual, but I have my Oppo N1 with me, which is a rotatable 13 megapixel camera. So I just wanted to show you what the video quality would be like if you're a blogger and you like to switch in between the front and back very easy. But the good thing about this is it's 13 megapixel, so you do not lose any kind of quality on there. So you don't have to shoot with a 1.3 or a 2 megapixel front facing camera. So let me know what you think of the quality on this shot. So let me go and show you what it's like to rotate this camera real quick. There's my camera right there and my bag of goodies that I'm shooting for reviews today. So make sure you stay tuned for a lot more reviews for I'm shooting a whole bunch of footage. So 2014 is going to be a great year for that. I think what I would like to see is some optical image stabilization here. So if you're walking around and you want to show people stuff, then the video is going to be pretty shaky. So I wish they would have put some optical image stabilization in there, but that's about it. I think this could be a huge potential for bloggers that want to have high quality video on a mobile device because you can just take this phone with you and blog everywhere instead of carrying a camera with you. So what do you think? What do you think about the quality? The one thing that I just noticed is that I shot that entire thing in portrait mode, so I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. So I wanted to reshoot this in landscape mode so you can see what the quality is like. And plus this is some harsher conditions in here lighting wise in the car. So I'm doing my best Adam impression. If you don't know what I mean, he does a lot of vlogs, so make sure you subscribe to his vlog channel, and I'll leave that link in the description section below. So just wanted to do this so I don't get a lot of flack, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Before I go, I told you I was going to compare this with the iPhone 5S because this is probably the most popular vlog camera out there. Just by sheer numbers, a lot of people that own iPhones and do vlogs off of them. So let's compare the quality. So a lot of people vlog with the iPhone 5S and it doesn't have a high megapixel count or anything like that, but it does a pretty good job. And the audio is usually pretty good from the iPhone 5S as well. So let's try it out and see if the Oppo N1 does any better under the exact same lighting conditions since it has a 13 megapixel camera. So let's go and check it out. So this is what it would be like vlogging on the Oppo N1. And the lighting conditions in here are pretty harsh as you can see. And it looks like the colors are way more accurate on this camera than it was on the iPhone. The iPhones was really overblown. It was really overexposed in the background. So the colors are much more accurate on this camera from what I can see on screen right now. So this could be the best vlogging camera that's out there and the highest quality for a mobile device. Let's see what it looks like when I put it on the actual video itself. So let's take this thing outside and see how it performs in moderate light. All right, so I'm outside here and it should look a lot better. And of course, both of these don't have optical image stabilization and I'm just holding it in my hand here. So we'll see what the video quality is like between the two if there's good lighting outside. Okay, well, this is the Oppo N1 camera here and it's pretty cold outside, but it looks like it has a little bit different contrast level. And these are both set on regular, by the way, no HDR or anything. You can't take HDR video with the Oppo N1. And if you wanna see it, let me switch to it right now. All right, now I've switched this thing to HDR mode and it does look a little bit different on camera as I can see over here that it does look a bit different. So we'll see how that comes out in video, but you can see that the video is still a little bit shaky here because this also does not have optical image stabilization. So if you put this on a tripod or something, it's gonna be pretty smooth. So what do you think about the video quality? So what do you guys think about the Oppo N1 camera? This is under fluorescent lighting as you can see all the oil and stuff that's on my skin, it's not color corrected or anything, but just wanted to show you the different scenarios of the Oppo N1 camera and if you're able to use this as a vlogger camera. I mean, this looks like it's the highest resolution vlogging camera potential that you can get 
and be able to see yourself on screen. And it's big, nice, beautiful screen that you can see. So I think this is a great vlogging camera for a lot of people. Now, the only thing I haven't been able to see so far is the audio quality. So let's see how the audio quality comes out. But this could be one of the best vlogging cameras out on the market. So let me know what you guys think and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific. See you guys in the next video.